33-year-old Nigerian Olamai Lekunjason, who came to India to get a university degree, has been living in Kirki village in the national capital for the past three years. Now Jason and other African nationals like him are having second thoughts about staying in Kirki. After Wednesday night's controversial raid where the law minister Somnath Bharti wanted the Delhi police to raid homes of African nationals where he said sex and drug rackets were being run, Jason says at least 10 friends from Africa have shifted out of Kirki, most of them being women. During the daytime, they're staying in, indoor because they were so scared. They're staying indoor, they were so scared. So most people, even the female, the males, they're staying indoor. Most people are staying indoor, like myself. If you had not called me, I've not been out all this while. This is my first time of coming out because I don't want to, be, I don't want to, I don't want to get into, into trouble with anybody. Of the 300 African nationals who live in Kirki extension, most of them are now keeping to themselves and especially staying away from the press. Almost 30% of them have apparently left the area for other neighborhoods nearby. The locals say they do not want to drive out foreigners, but those allegedly involved in illegal activities have to be booked. They say they are going to send letters signed by the local residents to the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. I will also appeal to the people of the Kirki extension that they will talk to the people of the Kirki extension. They are very good people. 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 It's been a week since the face-off between Somnath Bharti and the Delhi police, but the repercussions are still visible on ground. A lot of the local residents feel that the main issue has not been highlighted so much by the media, but it's the African nationals, the foreigners who had made this area their home, who are feeling most vulnerable at this moment and have no option but to seek safe havens elsewhere. In New Delhi, this is Tonima Biswas for NDTV.